Tom. Thanks for your interest in fellowship of the Australian College of Physiotherapists. Becoming a fellow is the ultimate professional challenge you can have as a clinical physiotherapist. It's an unparalleled opportunity to test your skills and gain experience with some of the leading physiotherapy experts in Australia and indeed the world. So why become a fellow? Fellowship is a mark of distinction. It demonstrates your leadership in the physiotherapy profession. You'll gain credibility, you'll be recognised as an expert, and you'll gain access to a network of peers and colleagues who can support you in the next steps in your career. In becoming a fellow, you'll have opportunities for improved remuneration, further career advancement, and best of all, you'll improve the care for your patients and their health outcomes. If you'd like to become a fellow, you need to choose your pathway. There are two different options. Firstly, fellowship by specialisation, which is the clinical pathway involving a two-year training program. And secondly, by original contribution, which involves demonstrating a portfolio of research evidence and publications or book chapters which demonstrate your capacity to meet the requirements of fellowship. Fellowships by specialisation are awarded in the following categories. Cardiorespiratory, women's and men's pelvic health, gerontology, musculoskeletal, neurology, occupational health, paediatric and sports. To start the training program, there are entry requirements. You need to be a registered physiotherapist in Australia. You need to be a member of the Australian Physiotherapy Association and a titled member with at least three years experience at a titled level. You'll need to be prepared for a two year training program which is going to involve at least 10 to 15 hours of work per week for the first 12 months, and later on, as much as 20 to 25 hours per week before examinations towards the end of the two-year program. Applicants need to be aware that this is an adult, self-directed learning program, which is with expert mentoring and facilitation from an experienced specialist physiotherapist, but a lot of the onus upon the learning and the direction of your learning falls upon the trainee. It's desirable that our trainees have demonstrated experience in research, teaching, professional and social networking, and a commitment to discipline-specific professional development. The performance of specialist trainees is measured against four key criteria. Development of specialist skills in that area of practice, participation in the education of the profession, participation in research activities, and professional development activities. Learning activities typically include close examination of your strengths and your weaknesses, engagement of practice in that specialty field, critical reflection of your work, particularly with the assistance of your facilitator, gaining a more in-depth and increased knowledge of the type of physiotherapy you're specialising in, developing expert clinical reasoning skills, and finally, mock examinations in preparation for your final exams at the end of the two-year period. Trainees are assessed along the way using formal case presentations, case studies, reflective exercises, a log, and a professional issues essay. It's important to realise that trainees really need to allocate two to three days every quarter to attend face-to-face -face meetings, as well as 10 to 15 hours per week for study and perhaps up to 20 to 25 hours per week in the days before the examinations. At the end of the two-year training program, trainees undergo final examinations. This involves both an oral and a practical exam. The oral exam will focus on their specialty discipline, and the practical examination involves consulting with two patients with initial and subsequent consultations held over two days. Thanks for your interest in becoming a fellow. Information about the fees, the application process and important dates can be found online.